It's audition night! Yeah. Feeling? Good. I'm excited to see what people bring to the audition room. Do you want to introduce yourself to the people? I am David. I am Karen's right hand for the show. Woohoo! So. I need. <laughs> and I need that. <laughs> Big time. Big time. <laughs> like, we've done this before where, you know, like you'll see someone come in and you're like, oh, you would never think of them in a million years as whoever, and then they just completely blow your socks off. And they're so not who you think they're gonna be. That's it's unreal. Magic of acting. I'm so excited and nervous! Ah! Uh, hi, I'm Neve, uh, and I am the musical director for a pop-up theatre company. Cannot wait to get started on the show, and we're getting ready for our first audition. What are you hoping to see tonight? Uh, I am just so excited to see all the people who are going to come in here. I just love to be surprised, so I can't wait for the first surprise of the night. I know. That's the thing, isn't it? It's like, you just don't know what to expect. It's a blank canvas, you have no idea. Who's I love it. Door. I love it. What am I, what am I even doing? <laughs> Thanks. I'm holding uh, <laughs> no. so. this place together. <laughs> So you may recognize uh, Connor from Chicago. Oh, Connor was our Billy Flynn. <laughs> Connor was our Billy Flynn, but unfortunately he's in Donegal this year doing Shrek the Musical, which is great. Ew, for, not good for us. <laughs> so Connor tonight is going to be reading opposite the actors so that when they come into audition, they're not just uh, on their own. Um, You'll be there to read opposite them, so. Yeah. All set? All good to go. All good yeah, to go, no pressure. No, no, no. <laughs> It is auditions night two, ensemble auditions. So we didn't record an awful lot last night because when you're dealing with solo auditions, it's really invasive. It felt really bad kind of have the camera in the room. But we had a fantastic turnout. Just so like, we could have cast it twice over with the people who showed up. You probably can't hear that, but they're dancing outside now. And Kira Frahal, our choreographer for the Star Factory is putting them through their paces. And she is not going easy on them, God love it. But it'll give them a fair idea of how the show would be because the show's not going to be easy either. So I might just go out and see if we can record a little bit. But they all look brilliant. And really scared. But they look brilliant. No need to be scared. It is Friday the, is it Friday the 13th? Oh, 12th, thank God. <laughs> I would have seen that as a sign. It's Friday the 12th of November, and we are after coming off the back of two nights of auditions, and all oh, lads, I, I'm blown away. It's so funny, it's weird to think I've spent the last two years with about 10 different casts in my head, and it's not, it's not a million miles away in some parts and in other parts it's just completely blew us out of the water and that's why I love open auditions because you just never know what's going to come. And we have the best cast ever! And the best ensemble, they're all so talented, they can dance, they can sing, they can act. And it is 25 to 6 and the casting call goes up on Facebook at 6. And then it's not a secret anymore and everyone's going to know we're a cast star and we can get started.
Hello, hello, hello. It is the 15th of November and I am here at the Clarion where we're about to kick off the first night introduction of the producers. So all cast and crew will be coming for the first time this evening and everybody will meet each other officially and we're gonna get down to business for the next five months. So. This is wonderful news. <laughs> yes, I don't really talk like Harvick, yeah. Hey, guys, hi at the Sligo Theater Company. Doing the producers, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm sending you a very personal message from the once long time ago, Carmen Gia. And uh, I just, I would say good, oh, but I can't because it's bad luck to say good luck on opening night. What you do, I tell you, it is certain by the cut you have got to cut Who wants cake? Yeah! 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 Let's see. Hitler and Gay Rock with Adolf and Ava at Brexit Garden. Oh my god! Oh my god is right! It's probably be a love letter to Hitler. Max, this won't run a week! A week! Are you kidding? This play has to close a big wall. What's the other day again? Friends, I'm going to play Leopold Bloom and I'm very excited to start alongside these ladies. Woo! And the director here. We're having a photo shoot um, because tickets are going on sale tomorrow. Yeah, they are. Yay! And how does the feel being back on? Imagine in like less than four months you're going to actually be up here. And in the, look at the people in those seats behind you. <laughs> beyond excited, I think, aren't we? Yeah, yeah absolutely we're so beyond excited. excited. And the great thing is that uh, um, it's such a great show that a lot of people uh, love and, and, and have loved over the years. But I think probably the best part for me so far is the is the group that we've assembled together. And Karen is the director. It's just we're having yeah. so much fun, and we're only what a couple of weeks into it. So 
I just can't. I'm just really enjoying the journey so far, and and, and uh, I think it's going to be one of those shows that's going to be remembered for a long time for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but possibly for yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so all I say is, you know, uh, book your tickets early because, like, a lot of times with these shows. When you leave it too late, you cannot get tickets and don't come to any of us looking for tickets. We don't have them. <laughs> so book early, book early, book early and book often. Yeah. What we call you Ola. What do you do, Ola? Ola, sing and dance. Ola, like you can sing and dance. Yes! <laughs> Carmen Gia, what's in the bottles? Bold wine. <laughs> and here we have Buddy DL. What are you doing? Uh, Hitting the mold wine. <laughs> and obviously non alcoholic mold wine. Yeah. Because we're very well, very, very well behaved bunch. <laughs> we're not a part of the This outfit begs to differ. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this tonight. <laughs> Smiling's his favourite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I've done a great job. <laughs> this is Karen. Karen is friends. <laughs> Hello, it is January the 4th. <laughs> I'm often working until the 10th, so that weird week where you don't know where you are, I have two of those, I know, for me. Um, so hi, it's January the 4th, and I am currently uh, editing the first proper vlog. Uh, since we cast the show and I'm just going back over the footage of everything we captured over the last few weeks because um, the lead up to Christmas was like a real um, like a kind of free time you know that there was like a month there where you had Christmas as your deadline so you were able to get loads of blocking done and stuff like that um, without the pressure of like we, we always kind of felt like the line in the sand was Christmas and then after Christmas, we ran the countdown. So uh, looking back over the footage, just like, oh my God, we have the show blocked already, which is insane. Production stuff is going really well. Uh, we're on track, there's lots happening in the background. It's really just the worry, you know, like just before Christmas, the government with the rise in case numbers brought in a, a cap on um, entertainment so everything needs to be finished by eight as everybody knows and everything had to be 50% capacity um, which is scary I'll be honest as a producer that's you, you don't you don't want that to happen <laughs> because if that happened to you you physically couldn't run a show not a show of this level like for instance, we have to hire our set. Our set is coming from Scotland. Our costumes are coming from London. They have to be ordered. They have to be measured. Um, part of our set, a huge part of our set, a couple of pieces have to be built. So all those materials have to be bought and paid for in advance. The build has to be paid for in advance. Um, you know, it's just, I think when they make rules like that, they don't appreciate, like I think theatre gets lumped in with, okay, fair enough, if you're snog in the face of someone you don't know at four o'clock in the morning in a nightclub, there's a risk to that. But in theatre, your passports have been checked and people have been asked to wear masks and it's such a safe environment that uh, it's such a shame that we're all under the one umbrella when it can be managed, but I won't go on around about that now. So basically, 
from a production perspective, I am choosing to lead with hope. I feel like the show must go on. It has to go on. We have to make this happen. We so fucking badly need a good laugh too. And I just feel like we, for so many reasons, this particular show, we have to do it. We have to make it happen. And we need to just stay the course and just try and be really positive about it. That's my plan. We can rehearse. We can rehearse safely. We can, we can, we can keep going and we can handle all of the challenges with positivity and tenacity and flexibility. This show is happening. It is happening. I don't know how, hopefully the way it was intended, but it is happening and it is going to be big and bold and hilarious, professional and flashy and the best night out we are so determined to give people the best night out that they have had in the longest time so pray for us <laughs> just come with us and support us and yeah i promise this will happen somehow we will make this happen and we'll give you the best time you ever had Bye.